In a key clock application, what we had done was we added the OIDC library so that the authentication and authorization takes place. This is fine when we are configuring our authentication and authorization within the application. But when we want to move the authentication and authorization configuration from key clock or any other server to the key clock, then we need to add some other library. So let me comment this out and I'll add this key clock authorization library. The other thing what we are going to do is we'll remove these configurations. We do not need all, all of these configurations. I'm still leaving these two configurations but commenting them out. These are the public API configurations just for our reference and the rest of the things I'm just removing. Now that we are moving our configurations to the key cloak, we need the information about the client since all of our configurations are available in the specific client and not on the dream level. For that, we need to add some configurations here. Let me add them. We need the client ID name, which is quarkus-be, as you can see here, and the client secret. This is the client secret which has also been added and since I do not have any HTTPS stuff here I'm just saying it as none and this property tells that the policy enforcement should be enabled and this will make sure that the Quarkus application tries to authenticate or and authorize on the key cloak using the configurations provided. That was it. Let me start the application. application has started let's launch the swagger so if i launch the swagger it it says is it is unauthorized so what we said was like we wanted all of the apis to be authorized for them to be accessible and we did not specify any public apis in a sense we did not add any configuration saying that these needs to be excluded from the authentication for that what we need to do is we will add those configurations so if you see here i have added all these configurations which has to be the public apis within the quarkus application itself and not on the key cloak this is because whenever a request comes to the quarkus application from any of the client and if you know that this REST API is public, it doesn't make any sense to send that request to the key cloak and then key cloak should say you that, oh, uh, I am not going to authenticate or authorize any of the access tokens since these are public and then comes back the request to the Quarkus application and the processing has to be taken place. It's better you have those REST API configurations which are public within the Quarkus application itself or any other backend application which you have implemented. Here what we need is uh, quarkus.keyclock.policyenforcer. Within this policy enforcer, it needs certain paths and followed by the name of the REST API path. I'm just giving public one, two, three. So it's up to you how you want to give and dot path equals this is the path that has to be excluded from authentication and enforcement mode is disabled. This means no need to check for the authentication for this REST API. Similarly, I have done it for other APIs as well. Let me just restart the application. All right, the server is started. Reload. Now you are able to see the response from the server and I have not authorized yet. What I mean is I have not logged in yet using any of the user. We can also see the public APIs. This was the public API list of restaurants. Try it out. We are able to get the response. The same thing for restaurant menu. Here now let me try another API. 1029 is menu item ID and I want to update the price of this menu item from 123 to 130. 130. It says you are not authorized because this REST API is not a public REST API. For that what I'll do is I'll 
try to authorize it but before going here in our application what we had done is so this path i mean updating the price was allowed only for the owner and since we have added the configuration in our key cloak to be accessed by any of the users and our user amar was the owner here but i will try using suresh suresh is a manager so does it work password and quarkus be client secret is authorize and let me just hit it out now it is able to update just to cross check there you go so this was the simplest explanation for uh, configuration of uh, authorization within the key cloak we'll now see in our next video how to do the role based configuration for each of the rest apis thanks for watching